So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this animated um, banner or signature or whatever. You can use it for whatever you'd like. Uh, so this is what it looks like. So as you can tell, um, it's kind of just words blinking across and filling in the text. So that is what I'm going to show you how to create today. So go ahead and go to File, New, and open up a new image. Now the size of my image is 180 by 60. You can of course use whatever image size you'd like. And now if you don't know what background you're going to use, because you can use whatever kind of background you want, but just to create a nice simple base background for, uh, for this, you can just go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. Then uh, check randomize, detail on 1, x size 4.8, y size 1.8. You should get something like this. Then go to colors, colorize, and I'm going to go with a hue of uh, 199, and then a lightness of mm, negative 10, and a saturation of 50. But you can always adjust that however you'd like. And now I'm going to grab my text tool, and I'm going to be using the uh, the font visitor, and type in whatever you'd like. Now, um, I recommend making sure that you use a word or a sentence or whatever you're typing in. I'd recommend making it not too long, because um, this process can take a while. Um, so what you want to do is count how many letters you have in this word. So as you can tell, um, this has six letters in it. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, layer six times, one once for each letter. So you can duplicate it by pressing this little icon in your layers dialog. So we're just going to make six, du uh, six duplicate layers of this. So now, once you're done duplicating all the layers for that, uh, next to all the duplicate layers, check or press on that little eye icon next to them. That will simply hide them. Then make sure you select. Um, the main text layer, uh, so it'll be highlighted um, in whatever color. Now right click on it and select merge down. Actually don't do that, not yet. Uh, actually go back to that text layer and uh, go over to your layers mode, uh, drop down menu and click on the drop down menu and select overlay. Now you can go ahead and merge that layer down onto your uh, background layer. Now unhide your first duplicate layer, grab your eraser tool, and what we're going to be doing is just erasing all the surrounding letters except for the first letter. So you can probably tell where I'm going with this. Now I'm going to hide that letter again, that uh, layer, and I'm going to go to my second layer, and I'm going to erase all the letters except for the second letter. So I'm going to erase everything surrounding it except for that second letter. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I am done. Now once you're done uh, doing that, you can go ahead and unhide all the layers. So just click the eye icon next to them. And to preview what your animation is going to look like, you can go up to Filters, Animation, and Playback. Now you're going to get this box um, and just click the giant play button and you should be able to see what it will look like as an animation so that looks pretty good right now so I'm going to go to uh, file save as and make sure you save it like this so go ahead and uh, make sure you, you can save as whatever file name you want um, just and then but make sure after your file name uh, you type in dot gif so that is very important um, after your file name make sure you put um, dot gif that will save as a GIF file. Go ahead and click Save. And then it will ask me, my image um, should be exported before it can be saved as a GIF for the following reasons. And make sure you click Save as Animation. And uh, then click Export. And I'm just going to click Crop. And then just make sure, and then just leave all the default settings on this and then click Save. Um, and that will simply save it as an animation. And that's it for this tutorial, and I w I'm going to try to um, have some more complicated tutorials, um, like a more advanced tutorial sometime. Um, 
going to try to do those, but I hate making long tutorials uh, simply because it's uh, I find it very difficult to. Um, but I'm going to try that, so stay tuned for that.